Citizen Kane? No. Metropolis? No. Return of the King? No. Ch this week marks the 20th anniversary of the release of Chicken Run in the UK. The US saw it a week earlier, but the film was made here in the UK, so I'm going to count this as the 20th anniversary. Now, I tweeted out that the anniversary of the greatest film ever made was coming up, and perhaps I should make a video about it. And people seemed really keen on that idea, so... Here we are. My job in this video is to convince you that Chicken Run, an animated movie by Aardman Studios about chickens trying to escape a chicken farm, is in fact the greatest movie ever made. A position that I do kind of hold. I want to talk about the film itself, how the film was made, and what the purpose of art is in general. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to bring that all together to make my argument. First, the film. If you talk to anyone who has seen Chicken Run, they will almost always come back to you with a quote. I don't want to be a pie. I don't like gravy. We did. The chicken shall be <laughs> Finally, something we agree on. Oh, my life flashed before my eyes. It was really boring. Chickens go in, pies come out. Ooh, what kind of pies? Apple. My favourite chicken pies, you great lummox. The film is chock full of great jokes. That's actually a joke in itself. Fox away! Fox away! If you, for some reason, haven't seen Chicken Run yet, then it is a comedy. An animated film set in Tweedy's chicken farm, a stand-in for a Nazi prisoner of war camp, where the imprisoned chickens are desperate to escape. One day, an American rooster called Rocky falls from the sky and offers them a chance to fly out of the farm. But Rocky is not who he seems. The film is wildly successful as a comedy. The writing is great, the jokes are funny, it exemplifies a certain kind of dry British humour that's very different from the typical kind of humour you find in most American animated films. Overpaid, oversexed, and over here. But the humour is only one part of the film. The defining characteristic of a comedy, maybe, and so by which measure it is already great, but what else does the film have to offer? The story. It's engaging. It reflects some deep-seated ideas in British cultural identity, like wartime spirit and the plucky underdog community rising up to defeat tyranny. Cinematography. The film is beautiful. Its use of claymation, which we'll come back to in just a minute, is masterful. And beyond that, the map paintings used are beautiful as well. Its conventional cinematography, the lighting and the use of the camera, drive the story forward effectively. But even better than how the movie looks, is how the movie sounds. For my money, Chicken Run has the most underrated film score of all time. John Powell and Harry Gregson Williams did not need to go as hard as they did on this score. What's particularly amazing to me are all the little references in the music. Obviously, it's very heavily inspired by World War II era films like The Great Escape. <laughs> Manufacturing. But there are lots of little references too. Much like the film has lots of visual references to other films, the score has lots of little references and interweaves itself with the rest of the Western musical tradition. Somehow, despite the film coming out before Pirates of the Caribbean, there's this section. What? And of course, kazoos. The musical score has a part literally written for kazoos, and that's just silly and brilliant. <laughs> Next, how the film was made. Chicken Run was made by Aardman, an indie studio based in Bristol in the UK, which is also my hometown. Does that bias my opinion of the film? Yes. Aardman had previously won great acclaim for their fantastic Wallace and Gromit shorts. A Grand Day Out, The Wrong Trousers, and A Close Shave. If you haven't seen them yet, 
what are you doing? It was when Nick Park and Peter Lord, the co-founders of Aardman, were at the Sundance Film Festival showing a close shave, which incidentally went on to win an Oscar, when they got a call from DreamWorks. Steven Spielberg had arranged for a private jet to fly them to LA to talk future projects. And then, in Nick Park's own words, by coincidence, they arranged for the meeting to take place in a famous chicken restaurant. At that point, all we had were a few thoughts scribbled on a scrap of paper. But the idea of chickens plotting their grand escape went down really well. I remember Stephen saying that The Great Escape was his favourite film, and that he had 300 chickens on his farm. I like to imagine that Spielberg didn't realise they, they wanted to make an animated film. So the project was this combination of this tiny British indie studio and this billion dollar American distributor. Once you add in some funding from the French studio Pathé, the project was go. And from the very beginning, it was multinational. It relied on cooperation between people who lived thousands of miles apart and lived very different lives. But the actual filmmaking took place in Bristol, and the film was made, of course, with claymation. When I was in secondary school, I co-founded an animation club. Every Thursday lunchtime, under the eye of Mr. Nevins, we would make simple animations. Some of them were done on the computer, some of them were using different bits of paper shot from above. But the most time-consuming ones of all were the ones shot using tiny clay models. Claymation involves making high-quality, posable models with interchangeable parts that are posed, photographed, moved ever so slightly, and then photographed again. Repeat this process 24 times, and you will have captured one second of film. The complexity of the production on Chicken Run was such that the animators, and there were lots of them, would average two or three seconds of finished film a day. If they reached a minute in a week, they would crack out the champagne. I mean, just look at this scene and imagine how many tiny, precisely calculated movements are required between each and every frame. The work required is astonishing. And all this is on top of your normal filmmaking process. Lighting, choosing lenses, directing, getting good performances from your performers. Claymation is quite possibly the most time-consuming, the most intensive method of making movies. And the result is unique. It's something that's undeniably art. But what is the point of doing all this? What is the point of art? Now, I'm just a mere scientist turned professional nerd, so take my personal opinion on this with a pinch of salt. To create art, in my opinion, is to be human. It externalizes an internal feeling or concept for others to experience. For example, when Palestrina wrote the Missa Papa Marcelli 450 years ago, he created a link to the past that, whenever it's performed, allows others in the audience to experience the feelings that he himself felt when he composed it, and further, connects all those who have heard it throughout history. It brings us together with a shared experience separated through time. And art is a fundamental currency. It's important that we create it because humans need to consume art for our souls, just as we need to consume food for our bodies. Art is simultaneously a mirror for the artist and their cultural context, and also a window for future generations to learn and draw nourishment from. So, what does this all have to do with Chicken Run? Like all films, it is art, and so carries with it an idea. The idea that Chicken Run encapsulates is multi-layered. In part, it is a triumphant tale, a human tale of adversity over the odds, succeeding despite every circumstance being against you. On another level, it is both multinational and distinctly local, with dry British humour and self-deprecation made possible by an interconnected world, reflecting the culture that produced it, as all art does, but proudly wearing that on its sleeve while weaving into the broader human experience. But most fundamentally, it is absurd. The film draws a direct comparison between chickens trying to escape a chicken farm and prisoners of war trying to escape the most brutal, barbaric regime in recent history. And the fact that we as humans decide to reflect absurdity in our art is the most human thing of all. Because life is absurd. It is futile. We all die, and the heat death of the universe is inevitable, as entropy claims us all and every memory we ever imprint in the sand. And in the face of all of that, 
We make a film about chickens not wanting to be in pies. We laugh in the face of inevitability and say we're going to do our own thing anyway. With the precious time available to us in the most time-consuming, artistically challenging medium of all, we make a film that elicits our deepest emotions and fears and base it on an absurdity. Chicken Run represents the best of humanity, the heights to which we saw, the strength of our spirit, and the depths of our depravity. Chicken Run is humanity manifest, and that is the ultimate function of art. And that is why it is the greatest film ever made. Happy birthday, Chicken Run. Your food for my soul, at the very least. Thank you for making it to the end of the video for some reason. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, pop it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe. I don't normally make videos like this, but if this does particularly well, then I will make more videos like this, so you should subscribe. And let me know in the comments what uh, you thought. That's a video I just made, isn't it? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.